at WFA we have uh, several different uh, groups of marketers, uh, central marketers, and one specifically called the Digital Network, uh, so marketers specialising in uh, interactive. And uh, they had all been struggling with a similar question was, okay, I have 50,000 fans, I have 2 million fans, but so what? Um, so initial investment uh, and interest uh, from a time uh, and money perspective absolutely were there, but then how do I really understand the return uh, from, from that investment? And, and pretty much all companies uh, were, were struggling with that. Um, so I think at, at this stage, uh, I don't know who it was from Google, uh, who said that uh, social media is a little bit like teen sex. So everyone wants to do it, um, no one really knows how, and then once you've done it, everyone feels like it should have been better. And I think at that stage, actually, that, that pretty much uh, uh, summed up uh, where, we, where, where our members felt they were. So that's when we turned to Millwood Brown uh, and we asked them to help us to understand, so what? What is the value of a fan? Interestingly, after we decided to, to launch this project, um, it seemed that there were a lot of different initiatives being launched trying to answer the same question. So whilst the question in itself is no longer unique, I think the approach that we took was um, we, uh, uh, WFA has a membership base of 60 large multinational companies, and that was the stage one, if you like, so understanding what do these uh, large companies feel is the value of the fan. And they, they were really very clear. They said these fan pages are delivering insight, they're helping us deepen engagement, build brand loyalty, but what they're doing less well is actually generating a direct sales return. And that then moved on to the second phase where we actually used that ne network uh, and got direct access to their fans. So I think the, the marriage, if you like, of those two stages is what made this project uh, unique and particularly valuable for, for our members. <laughs> So the next step was to talk to a bunch of fans and the way we did that was we launched surveys from a variety of different um, brand fan pages ranging from very small ones of 6,000 fans up to some very large ones with over 2 million fans. And what those fans told us was they told us which bits of the sites they liked and they didn't like and they also told us how their interaction with that fan page was changing their attitudes towards the brands. Um, the most interesting overall finding really was that size matters, but it's not everything. So what that means is that generally, if you have a larger fan page, you're probably doing something right. So that's the better content is what's driven that large number of fans. But there are exceptions to that. So we had some very small fan pages where people really appreciated that community and equally had one or two larger fan pages that did less well, that didn't really have enough lively content and weren't really generating the brand response they could have done with that big fan base. What we discovered was that there were some aspects of fan pages that um, are kind of must-haves if you want to have a successful fan page and also some other things that are real differentiators between the very best and the adequate fan pages. So the must-haves really are that you've got to be delivering up-to-date, trustworthy, useful news and information about the brand. Um, you've also got to be giving something back to your fans, so either some fun contests or giveaways or some kind of special offer are pretty much essential to, for fans to feel there's a, a sensible value exchange going on. Beyond that, if you really want to stand out and be one of the best performing fan pages, you've got to provide something else, something either a, sense, a real sense of community or something particularly fun and innovative. So the pages that, um, that manage to do that as well stand out but it's very tricky for any fan page to achieve all of those differentiating things. So a brand may need to decide whether they're going to be fun because that's key to their strategy or whether the community is more important for them and, and focus more in that area. Well, I think the marketers we've worked with on these studies now have a fairly clear picture of what's working on their fan pages and what they can do to improve them. So hopefully we'll get a chance to work with more marketers and and, and better understand more fan pages in the future. I think the other thing that marketers need to be thinking about is how the attitudes and the survey responses of their fans can be linked with the behavioural data that they're getting from Facebook and from other analytics packages that are helping them understand what's happening on their fan pages. So by combining what's happening with what people think, I think then you have the full picture and you can really optimise your fan page as best possible.
Well, I think this research has given us a really good understanding of what fans uh, are looking for now. But I think that's going to change over time. As people get more familiar with what fan pages can deliver, they'll probably get more demanding. And what the best pages have to do to stand out from the crowd will probably evolve as well. So I think as with fan pages themselves, what we probably need to see in fan page research is an ongoing dialogue so that in six months time and in a year's time, we have a clear understanding of what, uh, what fans are looking for. I think the uh, next step from our members' perspective, uh, as I said, the, the value of a fan really differs by company and, and by brand, um, is to really uh, have a deeper dive and uh, Millwood Brown have helped our participating members already uh, in this aspect, is to really understand what is the value for, for your individual organisation uh, and how can, how can you do that better. So I think that would be the next stage is to understand at a company, an individual company level, what is the value of a fan.